Can the semiconductor stocks continue the recent run? Lately, this group has just caught fire, and that includes Skyworks Solutions, the maker of high-performance radio frequency and analog chips for everything from smartphones to cars, GPS, broadband, wireless networking, not to mention various industrial, medical, and military applications. Skyworks is mainly known as a maker of power amplifiers for cell phones, though, and they have a ton of, of content in the iPhone, but they also have a lot of content in the Samsung Galaxy. Still, even with the drag of Samsung exposure, the stock's been roaring lately after getting hammered at the beginning of the year. It's now up more than 40% since it bought in February, and it's up slightly for 2016. Part of that is because when Skyworks last reported in late July, they delivered a, the company delivered a nice top and bottom line beat with robust guidance. Many people are expecting a good quarter when they report again in a couple of weeks, but obviously we're in a quiet period, can't really talk about that. So can the big semiconductor turnaround continue its momentum? Let's take a closer look with Liam Griffin. He's the new CEO of Skyworks Solutions to get a better sense of what's happening with the company and the broader industry. Mr. Griffin, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Have a seat. Appreciate okay, it. we got uh, some just some cursory rules. I mean, obviously, you're you're going to report soon, so we can't talk about the current quarter. Right, right. And I know that there's a big customer that doesn't really care to be talked about. Uh -huh. But I, I do need a general tone of the cell phone industry because sure. what I want to talk about is that Skyworks is trying has been a dominant player in cell phones, but you've got more than just cell phones. But first, just fill us in on how that industry is doing. Yeah, certainly. I think what is really important about our business today is this mobile internet ecosystem that okay. we support. It's tremendous. You talked about it all week on the show, whether it's Netflix, <laughs> Facebook, $5 billion of mobile ads in 90 days, Facebook. Domino's Pizza, you mentioned, this whole stay-at-home theme. So what's happening today is the ecosystem that we support is so vibrant, so profitable, that it is now driving change in the hardware. So in some way, all these bits and bytes need right. to be managed, they need to be delivered with high levels of efficiency, and that's what we do. So when we look long, we see this theme continuing, multi-year, secular theme, with more and more wireless engines being created every day and the ability for us to deliver our solutions getting better. Okay, when David Aldris, who's a terrific CEO, came Absolutely. on first when the stock was at, uh, at five, was saying, look, you know, we can be a dominant player in cell phones. That was the narrative for the company. But do you think that's now too pigeonholed with Internet of Things, with all the different, with autos, with medical, and that we're looking too, uh, too cell phone-centric? Uh, well, the cell phone is still the heartbeat and often the quarterback of our industry, okay. throwing the ball around to an IoT device or an appliance or something. However, you, know, you are right that this, this Internet economy, just it, it, it's so pervasive. It's in mm -hmm. everything that we do today. So Skyworks, for example, has a great position in access points and routers, maybe a Netgear or Lynx its box. Part of that cloud, that, that cord cutting phenomenon that we mm -hmm. see, being able to stream. We have products in Nest thermostats with Google. Right. We have IoT and appliances. Appliance companies like Whirlpool even are now adopting wireless technology. But what's unique about it, it's not always cellular. It's not always okay. LTE. It can be Bluetooth. It could be, it could be Wi-Fi technology or even a unique protocol called Zigbee, which is used in, in smart energy and automation. So all of those protocols together come together to, to give us the best opportunity to serve our markets. Right. Again, without being able to mention spe a specific client, I mean, away from that, uh, have you had some uh, uh, back and forth with Samsung in, uh, because of the Galaxy Note 7? Are things okay there? What can we talk about? Yeah, yeah. A, a difficult situation. Right. Samsung is one of the leaders in the industry and certainly a customer of ours. Uh, we don't expect any direct impact financially okay. from Samsung, but at the same time, it, it does speak to the challenge and mobility, all this complexity that we resolve, right. it's not easy, it's daunting. And the, and the push for battery and performance uh, and higher frequencies right. and higher data rates makes the whole, the whole food chain quite complex. Okay, now it, making it even more complex for the story was that uh, last year you tried to buy a company called PMC Sierra, someone else bought that. I was concerned at the time that you were then going to turn to more M&A, but it looks like you've been buying back stock, but M&A no longer a big focus? Well, M&A is always an opportunity for okay, us. And I think one of the, one of the Things I'd look at within Skyworks we're very proud of is we've, we're generating a ton of cash. We're a debt-free company. Right. You were a follower of our stock when we were $8 Jeez. in 2005. Yes. Right? And we're close to 80 today. Right. We were $700 million at that time. We're $3.3 billion now. Uh, and we've been extremely disciplined with acquisitions. We have made a few. We just right. recently closed on this Panasonic joint venture in Japan, which brings high-performance temperature-compensated filtering. Allows you to stay in your lane, stay in your frequency as you transmit and receive data. 
we did a deal with SIG Microsystems, a private company, to bring Wi-Fi into our portfolio, and then advanced analogic tech in 2012. All relatively small deals, but important for us strategically. But you're seeing, I mean, right now the rumor is Qualcomm's going to buy Annex PI. We had the Broadcom of Algo. We've had some Cypress made a deal and, you know, uh, uh, Corvo. I mean, it's, not, it's going to continue, right? It's just good for the industry, this kind of consolidation? It is good because one of the things our customers want, they want best-in-class solutions. And they also okay. want integration. So one of the secret sauces here at Skyworks is to take these components that have been disparate, discrete components, and bring them to, to an integrated, configured, tuned, and tested module to our customers. And for, our, for us, that's worked great. However, M&A, given our powder, given our right. balance sheet, yeah. uh, and the fact that we haven't done a deal in a while puts us in a better position to do one. It's certainly on the radar screen, but we'll be disciplined. The right opportunity right. comes along. We'll make it happen. Uh, last question. Uh, geographically, China, India, which is stronger? These other markets I should be thinking about because we know that that's where the inflection in cell phones is still coming from. Yeah, no, that's a great point. So you have two themes. China has been growing up as a market. It really has. We've seen a shift from 2G where we may have $1.50 or $2 content to 3G where our opportunity goes to 2 to 3 4G is still early innings. There's been some great improvement over the last several months, last several quarters. We're seeing China Mobile upgrade on 4G. Names like Huawei are strategic right. for us. Xiaomi strategic. New companies like, like Lico that, you met, that was on mm -hmm. TV actually here earlier this week. So we have a position in China. It's a more mature market. India, Latin America, Middle East, phenomenal potential. And there's still 2 billion people on the planet that have no connectivity. Yeah, um, so we want to nail that, too. All right. I'm so glad you mentioned that because so many people think it's peaked. If you have 2 billion people ahead, it certainly has Absolutely. peaked. Absolutely. Okay. That is Liam Griffin. He's the CEO of Skyworks Solutions, SWKS, longest stock that we have liked on Mad Money. We're back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.